What's up, agents? Zero here in Maine. It's been a while. Welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone tutorial. Now, I know some of you are probably expecting Redstone on one. You don't have to worry about that. They'll be back next week but i haven't done an actual redstone tutorial in a while and what i want to show you guys today i think you guys are actually gonna like so if we go ahead and step inside as you can tell it's not really well decorated it's not really meant to be used for survival it's just for the showcase and we actually have right here in the floor a crafting table now this may not look like much but this crafting table is actually really cool because it's hooked up to a bit of redstone so if we come over here let's go ahead and hit this button as you can tell, our crafting table is gone, and we now have ourselves a furnace. And as you can tell, you can actually hear quite a bit of piston action. So if I go ahead and push this button again, it's going to switch back out, and it's going to give us a burning stand. And as you can obviously tell, it's hooked up to a sticky piston. I think you guys know what's going on here. Press this button again. We got ourselves a cauldron, which is actually already full of water. Go ahead and push this button one more time. And we get ourselves our crafting table back. And if I were to continue pressing buttons, it's just going to cycle through all four of those blocks. Now, I need to be honest with you guys. This was actually not designed by me. It was designed by a guy named Mumbo Jumbo. He actually does uh, some really cool stuff with Redstone. He's a PC YouTuber. However, I followed his tutorial on this, and it didn't actually end up working. So I spent about an hour reconfiguring his machine and I actually managed to come up with a way to get it to work. And this is what it looks like above the ground. So if I go ahead and push this button right here, you're going to see all the pistons moving around. And it swaps the block and moves all the other blocks in a bit of a circle. So if we go ahead and keep pushing this button, it's just going to cycle through all of these blocks. Now, there will be a link down in the description to Mumbo's tutorial on this machine. Definitely go check it out. It's... It's pretty cool what he did. And so, anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the actual tutorial itself. Now, in order to build this, you're going to need a 4x5 area, and you're going to need to dig down three blocks. Now, this grant block is the exact place where your uh, swapping block is going to end up going. Yeah, we're going to go with swapping block. Inside this chest is actually everything that we are going to need in order to get this to work. We have ourselves... Five building blocks, one redstone dust, five repeaters, one comparator, one redstone torch, two droppers, three regular pistons, three sticky pistons, and a block of redstone. Now, I have a regular torch in my chest right here. The uh, droppers are actually going to need an item inside of them in order to get this machine to work. It doesn't matter what item you use. I just grabbed a um, regular torch. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to come to this granite block right here and you want to place the fit sticky piston facing up. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place a sticky piston facing in this direction right here with a block of redstone on its face. This piston should extend. Now the next step we're going to take is we're going to be placing in the rest of our piston. So you are going to need your building blocks for this. However, most of them are only going to end up being temporary. So first off, you want to put a block here and here. Like I said, temporarily, you're going to need a regular piston on this block. And on this block right here, you're going to need a sticky piston. You can go ahead and get rid of both of these blocks. Now you're actually also going to need a regular piston facing in this direction right here. So as you can tell, these two faces are kind of facing into the same block area. And then you're also going to need a piston on this block facing in this direction. So it's going towards our sticky piston right here. Now you are going to want to keep this block right here where it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place a dropper facing in this direction next to the redstone block. It should go off. Don't put anything in it just yet. We're going to need another dropper going directly into it. So now what we need to do is we want to take and place a comparator right here. I'm going to take another building block, place it right here. Come to this side and you will want to place your redstone torch 
off of this block right here. It should be on. Now, before you go any further, what you want to do is you want to go into this dropper right here and go ahead and put an item inside of it. So now this redstone torch should, in fact, be off, which is what we want. What you want to do is go ahead and place a repeater facing into this block right here, set to two ticks. Then you want to go ahead and place a repeater right here, set this to four ticks. Next, you want to go ahead and place a repeater going into this piston right here. Do not change it. Now from, what, from here, what you want to do is you want to first crouch and place a piece of redstone dust right here. Then what you want to do is you want to place a block right here. And don't forget, you need to crouch first. I forgot that part. Then you want to place a block here. You want to place a block here. And you also want to place a block right here. Now what you want to do is go ahead and place a repeater right here. Set it to four ticks. And you want to come over here, place a repeater down right here, and also place it to four ticks. And that is actually the entire mechanism all set up. The next step that we want to take, hold on, give me a moment. What you want to do is you want to hook this up to either a button, a lever, or a pressure plate. Um, I actually am going to go ahead and use a button just because it's easier. And so here's what you want to do. You want to break up some of this redstone and you want to place a repeater going into this block right here. So let me go ahead and dig around this. I'm going to place a repeater going into this block right here. Then you just want to go ahead and hook this repeater up uh, to your button or your lever, whatever you want to build. But you need to be careful when you set up this redstone because you cannot actually place redstone dust next to either this block or this block because otherwise that is actually going to end up breaking our system. So I'm going to go ahead and place redstone dust right here. Let me go ahead and dig a little bit of a staircase up. And we're going to hook this up to our button. So if we go ahead and pull out some blocks of choice, I'm going to grab, just for the sake of showing you guys how it works, we're going to grab a gold block. We're going to grab an iron block. We're going to grab a diamond block. And we're going to grab an emerald block. And we're going to be placing these on our pistons. And you want to make sure you're putting these down in a specific order. Well, not necessarily in a specific order, but in a specific way. You want to make sure you have a block right here. You want to place a block on this piston right here. You want to place a block on this piston right here. And you want to place a block on top of this redstone block right here. And that is actually everything all set up. So if we go ahead and test out by pressing this button, it's going to swap the blocks around. And now we have our iron block popping up. And if we continue to hit the button, it's going to cycle the rest of them all around. And that's basically how you build this little block swapper. Now, before you guys go too crazy on what blocks you want to put into your block swapper, you have to be aware there are some limitations. There are actually some blocks that you cannot use in this build, and I've got them right here. We have ourselves a beacon. They cannot be pushed by pistons. Uh, enchanting tables cannot actually be pushed by pistons. Ender chests cannot be pushed by pistons. And end portal frames cannot be pushed by pistons either, although you probably wouldn't be using end portal frames anyway. Now, the last block of which I want to talk about as far as this build is concerned is the anvil. Now, anvils can, in fact, be pushed by pistons, but they cannot actually be used in this build. And for one reason alone, and that's because they follow the rules of gravity. Now, as you can tell, we have three spots of which the actual anvil could go that we could place blocks down to prevent it from falling these two blocks right here you could in fact put something down to prevent the anvil from falling however it's this space right here that's going to be problematic if you were to put a block right here to prevent the anvil from falling when that sticky piston pushes the redstone block it's going to push that secondary block as well and that's going to end up breaking this repeater therefore the machine is not actually going to end up working so simply put you cannot use anvils in this build now you guys noticed that i had a a brewing stand and in a furnace set up right here these are all blocks with inventories another block that you can actually put into this circuit 
is actually a chest. You can actually put a chest into this circuit and have items in it. And as it moves around, it is actually going to keep its inventory. However, pip pistons and uh, chests in PC Minecraft do not work well. You can't actually do it. It will actually end up breaking the chest and dropping all of its items, or at least that's what my understanding is. I don't really play too much PC to know, but I do know that uh, pistons in PC cannot move chests around. Now, there will be a world download in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check this out for yourselves, but that's going to have to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Want more? Then make sure to hit that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at AgentCPU0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching, and with that, I will see you guys later.